Assalamualaikum Hai Jom belajar Max dengan Teacher Jess Ok Video ini Teacher Jess akan tunjuk macam mana cara nak jawab soalan nombor 3 Ok Using factorization solve the quadratic equation Ok kita ada soalan 3 A X square minus 2 X equals 3 Ok first step kat sini kita kena rearrange into a general order So I have to make Oops sorry Power of 2 minus 2 at minus 3 equals to 0 oh, So this is our general equation eh? A at square plus B at plus C must be equals to 0 Okay and then you can use your calculator And get the factorization here So I got X minus 3 X plus 1 here equals to 0 and this is at equals to 3 and at equals to negative 1. So, I solve the equation for 3A. Okay. So, next, let's we go question 3B. Okay, next we continue for question 3B. Okay, first we have the uh, bracket. So, we have to explain first. So, P minus 1 multiply P minus 1. And this is P plus 1. Okay. So... 3 ni teacher bawa ke depan uh, 3 ni teacher bawa ke depan eh So ini teacher dapat 3 So this is P square Minus 2P And plus 1 P plus 1 And this is 3P square Minus 6P Plus 3 Minus P Minus 1 So I rearrange Teacher dapat 3P kuasa 2 Tolak 7P Tambah 2 sama dengan 0 ha, Ok, itu baru dia punya Complete dia Ok, so untuk jawapan dia Ok, kita guna calculator Kita akan dapat So, at minus 2 Oh, sorry Sebab dia P kan So, guna P lah, jangan guna X Ok So, P minus 2 And then 3P minus 1 Okay, so P equal 2 and P equal 1 over 3. Uh, so, teacher dah selesaikan untuk soalan 3B. Okay. Uh, so, next kita akan teruskan soalan 3C. Okay, untuk soalan 3C, kita ada macam ni. So, first kita bawa 3 dulu. Kita darabkan dengan left hand side kita. So, kita avoid fraction. Jadi, ni teacher dapat 3M square plus 3M. Minus A minus A itu 0 Jadi teacher rearrange balik Ni jadi plus 2A minus A equals 0 Ok so Ini teacher factorization Teacher akan dapat 3M Minus 4 Dengan M plus 2 equals 0 Sebab dia M kan So kita kena M lah so m equals to 4 over 3 and m equals to negative 2 ok boleh ha. so ha, macam mana teacher dapat factorization tu teacher boleh guna calculator ok kalau mana-mana pelajar yang tidak mahir menggunakan calculator boleh PM teacher tau ok teacher boleh tunjukkan macam mana nak tekan calculator ok so last one kita tengok soalan 3D ok ni untuk soalan 3D ok kita ada bracket so kita kena selesaikan dalam bracket dulu ok so ini kita dapat 2X ok tak. ok 2X tolak 4X kuasa 2 kan 2X tolak 4X kuasa 2 Tambah 3 tolak 6x Ok, once dah dapat macam ni kita Ok, nanti kita rearrange balik eh? Kita rearrange balik so, Jadi 7x minus 2x plus 4x square minus 3 Ok Minus 3 plus 6x equals 0 Ini kita dapat 4x square ni pencil teacher ni tak ada bateri ke dia macam lulus stick dia pun teacher tak sure eh? dia, dia, dia macam tu sikit sorry ok so this is 4x square 
and then plus 4x oh sorry not 4x okay this is 4x square 7x tolak 2x tambah 6x kan so kita akan dapat plus 11x ok minus 3 plus 0 so we do factorization we got 4x minus 1 and then x plus 3 plus 0 so we have x 1 over 4 and x equals to negative 3 ok uh, so we done for question number 3 so I show you how to factorize the equation and next we have the question for number stretching the graph okay uh, so that's all for question number three okay I hope uh, you have to practice a lot of question to factorize the equation okay the more you practice the more you have the knowledge okay bye thank you for watching this video okay see you in next video for the next question